So a couple of statistics that I want to mention quickly before I ask this question. Up to 60% of those with thyroid disease are unaware of their condition. Women are five to eight times more likely than men to have thyroid problems. And one woman in eight will develop a thyroid disorder during her lifetime. So why are thyroid issues so common today and why are they affecting women so much? Yeah, so the thyroid is really quite sensitive, as is our entire hormonal or endocrine system. And there's so many factors actually that we know are affecting our hormonal systems in general, but especially as women. And this includes everything from significant stress, which has a major impact on thyroid function, to environmental toxin exposures. Many people have heard the term endocrine disruptors, which are environmental hormone disruptors, things like BPS, you know, or BPA and plastics that bind to our hormone receptors and can act like hormones. I think when we think of those endocrine disruptors, we tend to think of estrogen disruptors, but actually many of those are thyroid disruptors. They bind to the thyroid and alter thyroid function and often block thyroid function. Low nutrient status, you know, shockingly, a large number of Americans have been found by large studies done by the Centers for Disease Control. They're called the NHANES studies, N-H-A-N-E-S, that every couple of years look at the nutrient status and intake of the average American found that 14% of Americans don't get a daily amount of fruits and 16% of Americans don't get their recommended daily amount of vegetables. Enormous numbers of Americans are low in iodine, selenium, vitamin D, and other nutrients that are critically important for healthy thyroid function. And so the list goes on of various factors that can be happening individually for people or often happening kind of at once that they're getting, you know, they have low nutrient status, they're stressed, and then they're not eating as well because they're stressed, they're not sleeping as well, they're getting exposed to these environmental factors, and then it kind of all adds up and over time can have an impact on the thyroid. I think as women, the thyroid is so particularly tied into our metabolism. So we have a lot of the symptoms that I think we notice. Women are going to notice that little five pound or 10 pound weight gain. We're going to notice the hair loss. We're going to notice the fatigue. So we're going to notice those symptoms, but we actually experience a significantly, as you mentioned, larger number of thyroid problems. And this is partly due to some subtle interaction between estrogen and thyroid. So at different times of our lives, we have more of one or another of the three types of estrogen active. And those different types of estrogen can have different impacts on the thyroid. And so a lot of women around childbearing, around perimenopause, develop thyroid problems, but it's definitely intimately connected to our hormonal function in general. And then in turn, our thyroid affects our hormone, our female hormones, so it can affect our cycles, pregnancy, miscarriage, and as you mentioned, breastfeeding. 